Welcome to the Hallet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. In today's video, he regrets having a three-person with his wife. And thank you to Peter for sending this to me. But before embarking, on an expedition through the vast collection of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. This will be a good lesson why some fantasies should stay fantasies. There's a Chinese saying, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. For the record, since this is YouTube, I've had to alter a few words so as to not to offend their AI's sensibilities. He writes, I'm 35 and my wife, 36, have been married for 14 years. We went out for drinks for my birthday last July. We always wanted to try a three-person and tonight was the night. We met a college guy that we hit it off with well and we went to our place. We were pretty drunk. Oh yeah, blame the alcohol. I sat down to watch them and start entertaining myself while I watched. The guy was about 5'5 five five or so to my 5'9. So we were surprised when she pulled him out and how well he was blessed and my heart dropped. I watched her take it for a while as she clearly was enjoying it. We had a great marriage, respectful, and everything. Really? Are you so sure about that? Note, guys, how he used the past tense, had, and how he had to say respectful. Hmm. Smells like copium to me. I guess the thing that's killing me is that she came with penetration with him easily and almost never does with me. She grabbed my hand while she was getting fornicated and said, something's gonna happen. And then she popped off. After I arrived myself, I guess post-nut clarity kicked then, and I was full of regret. She even tasted his male nectar after I told her beforehand that that was a no-no. After he left, she was extra lovey-dovey with me like she knew she was wrong. Of course, she was wrong. You set a boundary and she violated it. Since July, she has asked two separate times to meet up with him again. Also since then, we've only had about five S-word fine fun moments or a handful of times and it's not the same. I'm really depressed. Okay, first off, you are not a victim here, buddy. You were a volunteer. I don't know if this was her idea and or if she manipulated him into it. I do suspect he was one of those guys who was so into the relationship, he would do anything for her and she knew it. The moment a woman knows a man will not put her in her place, he's screwed. Our species has a very evolved binary power dynamic and is one of the things 
we are learning in today's modern times is the consequences of when they are out of balance. If you are the kind of guy who likes to watch, hey, more power to you. However, signing up to be a cuck has consequences. In this case, he lived her fantasy, not his, and has discovered some random college kid effed his wife better than him. On top of that, she had no problems ignoring the boundary that was agreed upon, and then went all the way down to town to the 7-Eleven for a little midnight slurpee. So guys, how much respect do you think she really has for him? The ancient Greek myth of Pandora's box serves as a powerful lesson about the consequences of curiosity and opening doors that are best left closed. In the myth, Pandora was given a box, well, actually a jar, and was instructed not to open it. However, being a woman and driven by curiosity, she eventually did, releasing all of the evils into the world. Huh, pain, suffering, despair. Wait, is that where marriage comes from? Hmm. Only hope remained inside, symbolizing the faint light of positivity immense overwhelming negativity. In this case, curiosity and temptation about a threesome led them to invite another person into their intimate space. This act, once done, cannot be undone, and it unleashes unexpected emotions and insecurities. Just as Pandora released evils into the world, the threesome released a flood of insecurities and regrets into his marriage. Watching his wife enjoy herself with another man triggered feelings of inadequacy and probably jealousy. He hadn't anticipated this. This has caused a deep sense of regret and depression, much like Pandora's realization of havoc she had caused. Pandora could not put the evils back in the box once they were released. Similarly, this experience has fundamentally changed his relationship with his wife. The dynamic of his marriage has been altered and cannot, and I doubt, can ever be put back the way it was. Personally, I don't see her ever being satisfied with him again. Stick a fork in it, dude. It's over. Lastly, here's my take in rhyme and verse. Are we ready? Curiosity and temptation. Oh, what a mess. He wanted a threesome for his birthday, no less. Found a short guy. Seemed harmless at first. But his massive manhood unleashed her thirst. She orgasmed like never before. He watched, regretting more and more. Pandora's box opened, no way to turn back. Now she wants her college lover back in her sack. The lesson here is sharp and clear. Be careful what desires you hold dear. For once that box is open wide, it's hard to keep the chaos inside. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to 
stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my occasional memes, or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, give them a thumbs up, a comment. This helps support me and helps me make more content.